Hello everyone, welcome to SIUK India webinar. Thank you for joining us today. We are now live with the BMM Institute. Today we have Lucy and Alan with us who will let us know more about this special webinar session. Please feel free to post, post all the questions in the chat box on the right. We will answer all the questions during the Q&A session, which will be after the presentation. So let's start over to you, Lucy. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining our session today. We'll just introduce ourselves quickly. So my name's Lucy Mears. I'm the Head of International Recruitment and Partnerships here at BIM. Um, and I'm Alan, uh, and the International Agent Manager for the BIM Group. Nice to see everybody. So today we'd just like to give you an overview of the BIM group, um, our different colleges, how we've become Europe's leading music and creative arts provider. I'll talk you through where our campuses are located across Europe, our cutting edge equipment, our industry led courses, our world class lecturers, um, some of the master classes and internships that we can offer you within the creative arts industry, some of our alumni uh, that hopefully you will recognize. Um, a bit about employability and student support. And then at the end, we'll just talk you through our fees, how to apply um, and our entry requirements. And then we have a short video to summarize it all for you at the end as well. We will have time at the end also for a Q&A so we can answer any questions you have then. So firstly, a bit about our history. Um, so we actually started in 1983 as Drum Tech. Um, so music school there. And we've grown and grown and grown and added more campuses across Europe um, to our colleges. And you can see here our student numbers have really grown. So one of the um, most connected and, and largest and oldest uh, provider of creative arts education in Europe. Today, we also have acquired other colleges. So we're our flagship subjects are in music, but we also um, are part of the Institute for Contemporary Theatre, the Performers College, the very prestigious Northern Ballet School, and the Screen and Film School as well. So aside from music, we offer other subjects in the creative arts, and our students very much collaborate together. So for example, if our music students are working on a, a music video, the Screen and Film School students will work with them. So there's a lot of opportunity to cross collaborate within different disciplines at BIM. I should also say um, our degrees were accredited by the University of Sussex, but since 2019, we have our own degree awarding powers. So all of our degrees are BIM Institute degrees. Pass over to my colleague, Alan, for our cities. Okay, so I'm muted. Yeah, so as you will see, um, we have a uh, number of cities across Europe. We're actually the, uh, the biggest provider of modern music education um, in Europe. Uh, so as you see, we have um, our cities are listed there. So we have five cities in the UK. So London, Bristol, Manchester, Brighton and Birmingham. We have two colleges in Germany, in Berlin and Hamburg, and one in the heart of Ireland in Dublin. So all of these cities are very strong in music uh, and in music heritage. A lot of famous bands and artists have come from all of these cities. And so when you're a student at BIM, you are straight into the centre of a very strong music scene. And a lot of our students uh, get involved in concerts and festivals uh, in, in and around these cities. Um, so it's a very... Uh, it's a very vibrant experience that you, that you will have as a student. And I think Lucy will probably explain later that you can also transfer between these cities. So that's a very exciting prospect. Yes, we have our own very unique higher education college transfer scheme. So although we'd say try and research the city at BIM so that it suits your musical tastes, but you do have the opportunity to transfer to another city. So for example, you could do your first year in London and then in your second year, transfer to Manchester or even transfer to Berlin, as long as that same course that you're studying is running at the same time in those campuses. But it gives you a really good opportunity to um, try out different music tastes in different music cities and not just stay in one city for your 
um, education. So I'm going to pass over to Alan just to explain a little bit about our courses at the music colleges. Oh, you're on mute, Alan. Sorry, so we offer three levels of uh, education. So the first one is our diploma course. Uh, this is a one year program. Uh, it's available in our performance programs and also songwriting and music production. Uh, this is for students who maybe want to come to to the UK for for, uh, for one year, um, just to see how things work out, um, and then they have a natural progression onto our degree. These programs or the diploma programs are only available at our London campus, uh, I should say. Um, the most popular programs for our engineering students are actually our undergraduate and postgraduate programs. So the undergraduate degrees, uh, we've listed the programs there. So our courses for performers, as you will see, are for or are in guitar, bass, drums, vocals, and keyboards. Uh, we also have programs for the songwriters and for students who are interested in music production. Uh, but we also cater very strongly for the people behind the scenes, the people who make everything happen. So these, this uh, covers the wide range of music business, but also we have specialist programs in event management and music marketing, media and communications. Now, the important thing about the undergraduate programs which is fairly unique to BIM in the way they're structured, is that students can either study one subject or they can study two subjects. Many of our students are multi-talented and we have many students who maybe sing or write songs, but they also want to learn about the music business so that they can guide their own career. So if they were interested in both these aspects, then they could choose to study our vocal and music business program. So all of these programs can be, can be either studied as single subjects or combined. And then the, the program from that is our one year master's program. Uh, the, the title for it is Popular Music Practice but it actually covers, as you will see, all of the aspects of the courses listed under our undergraduate programs. So if anyone who is, uh, is an entrepreneur, business person, or performer, or producer, or composer, songwriter, then they can choose to study our master's program for one year duration. The other course I will mention um, is for learning and teaching in the creative industries. Again, a very specialist master's program, but if anyone is interested in a career in teaching in the creative industries uh, as their future, then we have a master's program to cater for that. Okay, thank you. Back to Lucy. Thanks. I should just say here with the, the business courses, I know a very popular um, subject for Indian students, um, these are very transferable into other um, industries. So, for example, with the event management course, it has a focus on the music industry, for example, music festivals. But you also can study other aspects such as sports events, wedding planning. So it's a, a broader degree that does cover other um, industries and it's very transferable into other industries as well. Just have a quick look at our screen and film school courses. So here we do their flagship course, filmmaking, but also film business and production, hair and makeup for screen and film as a new course and production and design as well. So very industry led. This is where the jobs are. This is what we've been told by employers that are, they would like our students to study and where there is need in the industry. Um, they also have a specialist MA in screen and film production as well and very much the same um, attributes that the music schools have, um, very linked to industry, cutting edge um, studios and equipment and cameras. Um, all of our lecturers are working in the industry and have those connections um, and very practical and, and intimate learning environments. So 
our classes, for example, average at around 20 students, both for all of our colleges. Um, so you get that real one to one kind of intimate experience. And just quickly with the other colleges, Performers College and Institute of Contemporary Theatre, where they offer bachelor's degrees in performing arts, musical theatre and dance, and also acting for stage and screen. And they also have a specialist MA in the performing arts as well. So over to Alan for our equipment. Oh, you're on mute. Working, okay. Um... Yeah, the, uh, okay, so we have, um, as we call it, cutting edge equipment. So um, it's very important for students who are learning um, to study for a career in a particular industry. It's very important that they use the equipment while studying, that they will actually be using uh, in uh, as a professional in the uh, full industry. So, BIM uh, is very fortunate. Um, we've been, uh, as Lucy mentioned, we've been uh, teaching for nearly four, four decades and we've built up extremely uh, good uh, relationships with, with the music industry. And that definitely includes the music equipment manufacturers. So as you can see from the list, I'm sure a number of you are familiar with these names. Uh, for instance, Yamaha, Fender, Marshall, Mapex, um, PV, uh, and all of these uh, all of these uh, manufacturers supply equipment to uh, to all of our schools. So this is in our practice facilities, our recording studios, re rehearsal rooms, and performance rooms for, uh, for the uh, classes. Um, a very interest, I'm sure, to the uh, to the producers among you. Um, we have many um, specialised Mac suites, which are full of uh, iMacs, uh, and they're all loaded up with uh, Logic, Pro Tools, Ableton. We're actually a certified Ableton uh, training centre. Um, but that goes across all of our um, all of our facilities. We also have um, relationships with studios um, outside of uh, outside of BIM. Uh, everyone in the music industry is very keen to work with our schools, and so, for instance, we have a couple of mentioned there: Brighton Electric Studios, where students can also perform and record and rehearse, all free of charge. Um, we also have Pirate Studios uh, around London, which are open 24 seven. So again, all free to BIM students. If you want to practice or rehearse at, in, into the small hours, um, then uh, we provide the facilities for you to do that. Um, also, we're very, in, or we're, we're involved with Chelsea Football Club. Um, they have a, a live venue under one of their stands called Under the Bridge. And we do a lot of live performances there. So again, our students get the opportunity to perform at, uh, at very good venues um, in and around London. Okay, back to you, Lucy. Thank you, yeah. And Alan, it's right that um, students can rent any of the equipment um, free of charge as well from us, right? I believe so, yes, yeah. Okay. So just on to our lecturers. So as we said, most of our lecturers are active in the industry, some of them very famous performers as well, but not just um, performance, you know, in the production side, um, the business side as well. They're either publishing um, or performing. Um, so they really connect with the students and offer them uh, real world insights and tips to help them with their career. Also, with the projects they're involved in, they get the students involved in those projects in terms of internships as well. Um, we have personal tutors, so the students get one-to-one -one time with these lecturers. Um, aside from that, we have an artist development team that really focus on the performers and, and developing them to a very high standard. And we also put on a lot of networking and mentoring events as well. And so lots of access into the industry um, as it's happening. You can see some of the big names that um, some of our lecturers and professors have worked with. Just on to masterclasses, Alan. Okay. Um, 
So we're uh, again going back to our relationships with the music industry. Um, we we're very fortunate um, to be able to provide access, I think, for our students. Um, so uh, you're not only meeting uh, our lecturers, who are most of those are also involved in the industry today, but um, we're also very proud to be able to connect our students to some of the uh, bigger names, if you like, um, within the within the industry. Some of the star names, um, either the stars in their own right, or they're working um, or playing uh, in bands for the big names, or their head of record labels, publishers, um, event organisers. So we have Michael Evis there founder of probably one of the biggest music festivals in the world, Glastonbury. Um, Stormzy's mentioned, um, probably the, the biggest um, grime artist in, in the UK right now. Um, Niall Rogers, um, very famous, um, came to prominence uh, with Chic um, and also writing and performing with David Bowie on his Let's Dance album. Um, and then at the bottom, just two, two, two of the major players, if you like, Nick Mason, drummer from Pink Floyd, Brian May, the guitarist from Queen. And we're normally, um, we're normally able to offer three or four of these masterclasses every week um, at all of our locations. Some of them are all of the students want to come and see. So obviously they will be in our, in our bigger rooms. But we also have smaller and more specialist um, information sessions, if you like. So uh, where we will have um, photographer, music photographers or journalists coming in and the students who are interested or studying on those programmes, they can get to meet them uh, in smaller rooms. So it may be 10 or 12 students and you can really have a sort of good close one-to-one -one and intimate sessions uh, with these people asking them the questions that you want to ask and really getting it into, uh, into the knowledge of the uh, industry. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Alan. So just a, a taster here of some of our really successful alumni that we've produced from the BIM colleges. Hopefully some of these you will know. For example, Ella May, who's um, doing really well in the US charts at the moment. George Ezra, uh, from BIM Bristol, just about to release his new album. He's done very well. Um, some older artists as well, James Bay, Tom O'Dell, um, Idols doing really well at the moment. They're headlining the Coachella Festival in uh, California this year. Um, and then some really good upcoming artists like Black Honey, for example, um, just about to storm the charts. Um, but all of these, these are just the performers that you may know, but we have um, alumni that have done really well behind the scenes as well. So agency heads, um, international booking agents, for example, um, with all those connections to BIM. Um, and the alumni come back and um, they do a lot with the students um, in terms of BIM Connect as well, which I'll talk about a bit later on, um, but really good connections with our alumni as well as our, um, our um, lecturers as well. There's a few stats here I can just um, talk you through, but this um, really shows how connected to the industry we are. And that is our, our main attribute of BIM that really sets us apart from any other music um, and creative arts institute. We have these industry connections. We keep it between the students, the alumni, um, the lecturers, the employers that we bring in. Um, and it does mean that our students have very good um, employment prospects not just while they're studying in terms of internships and work placements, but also when they graduate as well. And now obviously the UK is offering the two year post-study work visa. Um, so it gives you guys the opportunity to stay in the UK or in Europe um, and work uh, after your studies um, with these industry connections that BIM can offer you. We are both just talked a little bit about this in a bit more detail. So another thing that sets BIM apart is Talent Match and BIM Connect. So BIM Connect is a platform that connects students, alumni and our industry uh, lecturers. And there they will post jobs and, and projects and placements. Um, 
but more than that the alumni will flag on their profile um, here to help uh, so students can go in read the profiles of the alumni and reach out to them through BIM Connect for any advice about their career, any questions that they have, any opportunities that they have. So we really keep that family uh, going at BIM for our students. And then we also offer Talent Match, which is very unique to us. This is our own in-house recruiting agency. So it's not just the students um, and the alumni that are on there, it's also over 800 now employers that are connected through Talent Match. Um, and we have some really big names there, Sony Music, Abbey Road Studios, for example, AIM. And they will all advertise any opportunities that have, they have, whether that's paid or unpaid internships or jobs, uh, full-time jobs for our graduates. Um, we have some really good success stories here. So for example, a graduate from BIM Brighton, um, he was selected from over 5,000 applicants uh, for a 12 month paid internship at Sony Music. And he was helped by one of our talent managers and recruitment specialists. So we have dedicated staff at BIM uh, that will help students apply for these roles and get them. Um, so dedicated staff, that's just their job is to help the students get these placements. Just wanted to mention as well, we also have a new partnership with Spotify. It's an educational partnership. Um, so they're helping um, with some scholarships for UK students, but they're also offering a lot of internships and placements and jobs for our students when they graduate as well. And I'm not sure if you want to uh, add anything else to that. Um, not really, I think it's just an amazing, um, amazing opportunity. Just as you mentioned, Sony, um, one of the um, facilities we also run at BIM is um, we, we work with um, a person who actually interviews for Sony. Um, so when people apply to, uh, to Sony uh, for a particular job and they get down to a short list of uh, applicants, then they, then they assign someone to actually um, interview the, those uh, short list people. Um, and that person actually works with BIM. Um, and so um, what our students are able to do is um, what we call mock interviews with them. So, um, you know, if uh, one of the, if we do get it, uh, jobs that, that, that come up, for instance, um, with the uh, internship with, with Sony or, or any label, Universal, or any job within the music industry, then we're actually able to set you up and tr train you, as it were, give, give you mock interviews um, so that when you are, face to face with with these big names in the industry, then you are fully prepared um, and you, uh, you know what questions you're going to be asked. And we feel that this um, will most definitely put you ahead of, uh, of any competition um, for other people who are going for the for these positions. <coughs> Excuse me. We actually do have an Indian student with us at the moment who's studying um, uh, performance and production and he's doing an internship I think with ACM talent where there's a group of them that um, are basically talent spotters for them so they um, source new bands new singers um, and then have to present these to the board um, uh, so it's giving them that really good business experience as well and so there's a lot of opportunities for you guys too when you join BIM. Just a little bit on our student support. So as I mentioned before, we, we are very intimate. Even though we have over 8,000 students, they are spread over our, diff our eight campuses. So we are able to offer that small class sizes, um, a lot of student support. The lecturers will know who you are by name. They'll know your um, story and how to help you personally with your career growth. Um, so lots of one-to-one -one, um, tutoring and mentoring. We also give students a ded dedicated contact and student support so they can help with any issues you're having. We offer counselling, um, pastoral care. There's a lot of um, student societies and associations you can um, join as well to meet other students. And accommodation, we have um, accommodation guides for each city. We don't have our own dedicated hall of residence, but we do partner with um, providers in each city. We've got guides that we can show you um, that we recommend 
local halls of residence, but also as part of, um, we have Facebook groups and, and part of BIM Connect where students can advertise any spare rooms that they have, because a lot of our students really like living with other BIM students. Um, so we, we have that connection as well with our current students. And I don't know if you want to explain this, or you want me to just jump on about um, entry requirements? Yeah, if you just want to, yeah, I think that's, yeah. So, <laughs> we'll better that. <laughs> so for our undergraduates, we do have two different entry, entry points. So for our performance degrees and then for our business related degrees. So for performance, we ask for slightly lower. So for India, for example, here, 50% or above on the Indi India um, secondary school certificate. For the business courses, we ask for slightly higher at 60%. Um, so if you are doing a joint honours degree, for example, uh, performance and business, we would ask for the higher 60%. Uh, for any master's students, we ask for a guide of 55% on your bachelor's degree um, or higher. And then for English language, we can vouch for your standard 12 English. So if you have achieved 60% or above in your English on your standard 12, you don't need to do another IELTS test or any other English language test but we do accept a lot of um, other tests um, they're all on our website and you can see all our international entry requirements and English lang language requirements there. I should say that all students do an audition or an interview and this is what's really important about them. Um, we have very detailed audition guides for all of our courses so you can see exactly what we're looking for in terms of an audition um auditions for the performance and obviously an interview for the business courses so we will send you a presentation question and just ask you to give a sort of a five minute presentation on on the topic um but this is a great opportunity for you to meet BIM staff meet BIM ac academics they will give you a lot of information during those auditions they'll obviously be able to see your style your performance and guide you as well so if you want to you can do your audition before you formally apply to BIM. If you're not sure, for example, which course is best for you, we would recommend that you book an audition or an interview, speak to the academics there, and they can really recommend the right course for you to apply to at BIM. For any student who doesn't have any formal qualifications, so this is not usually for mature students, 19 or above, um, we can get you to do an audition. And um, you could, uh, if you have experience and you have that standard of performance, uh, we can admit you still to BIM through our recognition of prior practice route. Um, as Alan mentioned earlier, though, we do have that one year diploma. Um, so if students don't quite meet our entry requirements or, again, they're not sure about the course or their vocals maybe need a bit more help developing before they're ready to go on to a degree programme, we would highly recommend the one year diploma. Um, that's very, very practical, the diploma, compared to our master's courses where there is that research element um, to those masters. So sometimes we do get mature students doing the diploma as well if they, they don't want to do the research side of an MA degree. Just in terms of applying as well, there are two different ways you can apply. You can apply via UCAS, which is the kind of UK general admissions route. If you're applying through UCAS, you can apply to up to five institutions in the UK. So that is quite good if, you're, if you've got other choices there. But there are deadlines to UCAS. There are, um, if you're a postgraduate, there are fees to apply via UCAS. The alternative route is to apply directly to us um, at BIM. We have our own direct application form on the website for international students. Um, you can create a login and then apply to us. You can upload your documents, um, you can upload your passport, things like that, and um, you can log back in and keep checking your application status and any messages from admissions there. So it is a very easy way to apply to us. There are no deadlines for that. So you can continue to apply all the way up to the summer for a September intake. Um, we just would recommend that you uh, leave enough time for us to process your visa, obviously. But SIUK are here to help you with any questions you have about applying, or you can also reach out to us at any time. Um, but we'd highly recommend the direct application route. We aim to respond to any applications within a 48 to 72 hour turnaround time as well. So whether that is um, being able to give you an offer 
or admissions uh, reaching out to you via email if they need any further documentation. They'll also then be in touch to book an interview or audition or portfolio for the film courses if you haven't done that before you apply. For those who do need an English language test, just to let you know that we do offer a, a discount to our students if you're booking the ESOL uh, language cert test as well. Just a bit on fees, do you want to cover this one, Alan? Yep, okay, so um, here we have our fees uh, listed. Um, so yeah, so the uh, Diploma course, as I mentioned, uh, that's uh, running in London only um, and for one year. Um, and the fee there is £12,950 in pounds. Um, these are the, the, uh, the, the standard gross fees. Uh, undergraduate, three years, £15,950. And the postgraduate, one year, £15,450. Um, we do... Um, we have a number of interested students who've actually um, who are actually studying in Germany right now. Um, they found uh, they've uh, they've chosen to go to Berlin, um, and they're flourishing uh, in Berlin um, with the pro not only the program but obviously the uh, the city. So we we do have uh, courses uh, in uh, in Berlin. They are fairly similar um, in uh, in uh, fee structure. Um, they are in euros, um, and they are obviously available um, on request if you're interested in uh, in BIM Germany. Um, the programmes at our Screen and Film School, SFS, also listed there for you. Um, we also run, run undergrad and postgraduate programmes there. Um, I think the probably the most important thing to mention is that um, on the right-hand side, international scholarships. So all of the fees that you see on the left hand side, they're all subject to a £2,000 discount. So um, and this is available for all international students. Um, so basically, if you were to apply to BIM, um, accept or not, be, uh, be made an offer and accept the offer. Currently, the deadline is 15th of April, although that is flexible and that Will probably be extended. So if you were to um, receive an offer and accept that, uh, then you would receive an automatic £2,000 discount on those fees on the left. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Do you want to charge yeah, that should, Yeah, no worries, that's brilliant. I should just say we do require a deposit like most other UK institutions for international students. Um, this is so that we can um, show it on your confirmation of acceptance letter in order for you to get your visa. So it's good to pay a, a small amount in advance in order to for the UK government to issue your visa. So for most students, um, the deposit amount is £4,000 and um, that needs to be paid and that will secure your place on the course. If you have, if you're funded, so if you have a bank letter, for example, from India and you're getting a loan from the bank, we will drop that deposit amount down to £1,000 for you. But once you've paid that deposit, that secures your place. We can then take that from the balance of your tuition fee. And also, um, if you've applied in time for the scholarship, we'll um, deduct that from the remainder of your tuition fees as well. And then you can either pay the rest of your fees before you enrol or we can set up a, a flexible payment plan for you. Um, so for example, like Ellen was saying in Germany, their fees are in euros, they're slightly lower, um, They, um, but they offer like a 10 month um, instalment plan. So you can spread that across um, the year. And in the UK colleges, you can get in touch with finance and they can set you up a payment plan as well. Just to mention, we are um, getting Flywire soon. Flywire will be coming in mid-April and that will give you a lot of different other international payment options um, but it's an instant payment so you don't even if you're doing a bank transfer as soon as you've made that transfer it will be instantly updated on your application portal as well. So I think that's it we'd just like to show you a really short video to summarise what we've been saying and then we can take any questions after that so I'll just play the video now for you.
Thank you so much for such a knowledgeable presentation. And so, <laughs> yeah, sorry, Alan. No, so you blew this on me. There you sorry. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for taking the time to listen to us. And yeah, we're happy to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you so much for such a knowledgeable presentation. We are now moving towards the Q&A session. So the first question the student is asking, can we get a job easily after completing music business graduation? Yeah, so I can take that. So um, as we mentioned in the um, presentation, we are very, very connected to industry. And so we have the talent match service. We have BIM Connect. We have our lecturers that are um, working in the industry as well. So we have a lot of industry connections and we can help you if you are going to stay in the UK when you graduate with the two year post study work visa. We will help you even after you graduate with our industry connections to get you um, a job in the industry. But with music business, like I said, it is um, they are very transferable into other industries. So for the creative arts in the UK, there's over 250,000 people working in the music industry alone. But those business degrees, the event management degrees, um, the, the marketing degrees are transferable into any other sector as well. So you'll learn those fundamental skills you need to get into any other sector as well. Yeah, I think it's just sort of maybe on that, just to add um, that the industry do actually um, come to BIM with job and internship opportunities. So it's not a case of um, BIM just, just training training the students up for jobs that hopefully may be there. Um, all of our campuses regularly receive jobs and opportunities from the industry every day. Um, and this used to just to be a thing that just used to happen. And then each um, each campus would, would try to match a student to, uh, to the job. But because BIM now receives so many job opportunities um, and internship opportunities uh, from the industry, we've now set up the central department called Talent Match. So now every job or opportunity that we receive from the industry goes through to a central team and then they will um, they have a list of students who are in who are registered with talent match um, and so basically talent match is really matching our students to actual jobs and positions that are really there um, and i've just put a link um, again in the chat that will give you a little bit more information. Uh, if you want to check out that that link, it just gives you a little bit more information on the uh, on the talent match program. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alan. The next question: What career opportunities are there after completing post graduation in popular music practices? So again, that's a, another course where you can choose the different pathways that you want to study so I think as Alan mentioned we have four pathways for the masters the entrepreneurship stream so very much the business side so you don't have to be a performer to do the, the, the master's program you can very much focus on the entrepreneurship so starting your own label or your own production company or even getting into more of the uh, music industry side so working for a record label um, or an agency um, so there's all those kind of streams, but you can mix that up. You can do a little bit of performance if you want, or a bit of composition or a bit of production as well. So it's up to you how you shape that master's degree and in terms of what your career aspirations are. But again, the same um, industry um, contacts that you'll have, uh, the same uh, access to BIM Connect and Talent Match as well. Yeah. And also just to add on to that, um... It's, it's very much about collaboration and networking um, between students uh, at, uh, at all of our campuses. So um, I think the wonderful thing about BIM is all we teach is music. So if you're a performer um, or a business person, whoever you meet or bump into at the campus, they're gonna be another student who's interested, who's studying towards a career in music. And many, many of our students collaborate um, and work together whilst they're studying. So bands will form, they'll, uh, they'll 
um, they'll want to record their music, they may want to um, get promoted or to start promoting themselves. So the band will then find one of our business students, they may want to do some gigs in London, so then they'll um, work with one of our event management students. So a lot of um, so a lot of collaborations actually start within BIM, and many of these continue after the students graduate. I've known students who have graduated five, six, seven years ago, and they're still working with students who they studied with uh, in the professional in industry, still working together. So it's um, it's it's uh, opportunities that you can take forward after you graduate. Um, as well as the opportunities that you can gain through uh, our Talent Match and uh, BIM Connect services. Thank you. The next question. Can I enroll myself in Performing Arts Masters? Is any work experience or certification needed? No, to do the Masters, you don't need to have any work experience. We ask for your, you will need a bachelor's degree usually. Um, with 55% uh, or above. Um, there is that alternative route for students who do have experience, but don't have uh, the, the formal qualifications. So it really depends. If you're a performer, I would highly recommend to book an audition with our admissions team or, or apply and we'll be in touch. And we can always switch your application if needed, but um, do apply, do an audition then you get to speak to those academics, they get to, to see what level you're at and they can then recommend um, which course is best for you, but always apply. Thank you. The next question. Should we apply for scholarship separately or is it considered automatically when you apply via UCAS? Yes, the scholarships for international students are um, automatic. So all you need to do to um, be eligible for the early confirmation scholarship is apply for your chosen course and um, do your audition or interview. You can have a conditional offer, so you don't have to have completed that yet or you don't have to have completed your studies. Just apply and once you have that offer, whether it's conditional or unconditional, once you've decided on BIM and you definitely want to come with us, accept your offer, pay your deposit amount, and then you, we will automatically give you the £2,000 scholarship. And then you can progress after that onto our visa and immigration team. So we offer weekly visa and immigration webinars that you can join once you have an offer. They will talk you through the next steps of how they will help you get your visa as well. Thank you. The next question. Uh, do you provide internships or part-time job assistance during the course? Yes, we do. So you can use BIM Connect and Talent Match to find internships. Um, with your visa, obviously any unpaid internships, you can do as much as you like. Um, but in terms of your UK visa, you will be restricted to 20 hours a week in term time to be paid, but as many hours as you want uh, full time. There are a few restrictions with um, performing, so artists on a visa. Um, but we will help you with all those restrictions when we um, when we do the visa information sessions. But if you need to get a casual job, for example, in a bar um, or in a cafe or something, there's plenty of those. Our campuses are right in the most musical, creative, big cities in the UK and Europe. So there's plenty of casual jobs in the hospitality industry, for example, which you are um, you can get jobs in. Um, but in terms of working in the music industry and getting internships there, you can use BIM Connect and you can use a Talent Match as well while you're a student. Thank you. The next question, who are the top five employers after uh, our completing graduation? Oh, oops, just a second. Uh, who are the top five employers after completing graduation in filmmaking? So. <laughs> Um, so, well, some of the ones we mentioned, right? So Sony yeah. Music, we've now got Spotify that's taking a lot of um, students, um, both on internships and when they graduate. Um, there's a lot of performers, so a lot of our students. I just posted um, a Swiss Indian BIM graduate, Tashan. So a lot of them go into the kind of performance side, but they're self-employed or they stream their own music. So again, the, the this brings out 
what BIM can help students who are performers um, is give them that business sense as well, how to run their own social media campaigns, how to become influencers, how to be self-employed, how to stream your own music. So there's a lot of different aspects to our performers, not just the performance side, but also how to become an artist in their own right. Don't know if you want to add anything there, Alan. Um, no, I think um, it's yeah. I think the the uh, the, the beauty about um, the talent match and the big connect is um, obviously sort of people are well aware of the uh, the household names if you like, like Sony, Universal, um, Spotify. Um, but the wonderful thing I think about the talent match is we work across the industry. You know. Um, Obviously, if, if someone can, uh, can, can work at Sony or Universal, that's that, that's wonderful. But it's very important to remember that um, the music industry, I think it's the third largest export of the UK right now. Um, and, it, and there are hundreds and thousands of music industry companies. Um, and a lot of these, um, they may be smaller companies, but they also they sort of feed in t- uh, into the bigger companies. And so we have we have opportunities with Sony, Spotify, as you've heard, but we also um, have connections with with the uh, smaller companies. Um, and many and many people um, will get to work in a smaller company, which will be a great start to their career, and they will work through through uh, through the industry. And maybe it can be their goal to work for someone like Sony or Universal. Um, but I think it's very important to say that um, we don't just focus on the top five or the top ten. BIM's work opportunities are spread across the whole of the music industry. Um, and so I think this is vitally important for all of our students and graduates, that they're not all fighting for you know, 100 students fighting for, for, for one or two jobs. There is lots and lots of scope and opportunities right across the industry uh, for our students. Thank you. <laughs> the next question, what is the application process for 2022 intake? Please explain. Sure. So we have our own direct application form. I think Alan has already posted the link, but you yeah, can I'll find do it. it. I'll yeah, do it again. So we have our own direct application form. Just um, create an account and then you'll have access to our applicant portal where you can save your application form or come back to it. But it's free of charge. There's no application fees. Um, start your application, upload your documents and submit it then our admissions team will be in touch by email or by phone just to say if they need any more documents or um, they will then be in touch for you to book your audition or interview. As we mentioned before, if you're not quite sure which course is suited for you, you can book an audition first if you want to. So book an audition. We've got audition guides that have lots of detail on what we're expecting in that audition and what you need to prepare. Um, So you can either yeah, do your audition first or apply first. It's really up to you. But please do make that um, application or audition um, so that we can keep in touch and really guide you and help you um, with the whole process. Thank you. The next question. What is the deadline for September 2022 intake? So we have some soft deadlines. Um, We would it really depends because you need to get a visa. I would assume um, we would recommend you apply before August. Um, August can be a busy time for our visa and immigration team because they are um, releasing the CAS letters that you'll need to get a visa. So we would recommend before August if possible. Also, the um, scholarship deadline at the moment is the 15th of April. So if you apply before April um, or the mid-April, Um, and you accept your offer, we can give you that automatic scholarship. That may be extended, as Alan mentioned, we may be able to extend that slightly into May. Um, But April, May would be a great time to apply so that we can give you the scholarship. And then we have a lot of time to guide you through the visa process. Thank you. The next question. What is the average age of students attending your music master's programs? What about the post-study work visa? 
Yeah, so um, I, the average age is around 23, I've been told, for the master's programmes. But we do get a good mix. Um, we do get some mature students, some that have done really well in terms of performance um, that want to do the master's programme. We get some students that are... Um, that are progressing from our undergrad de degrees as well. Um, so they'll be the sort of um, in that age range too. Um, but a bit of a mix and depends on the campus as well that you choose, I would say, Alan. Um, London and Brighton, we get a lot, um, a lot of international students there. However, slight, still some in Manchester, some um, in Birmingham as well. Birmingham's just come on to the sponsor license. So we're seeing more and more international students choosing Birmingham too. But it, it's a mix, depending on which campus you choose, really. I don't know, Alan, if you want to add to that. Yeah, no, I was just say, I think, um, uh, yeah, it's, well, the the age range does cover all all, age, all, all ages. I think, yeah, the, the average is uh, early 20s. But, you know, um, we have students uh, into their 30s and a few beyond that. Um, so um, no one should feel... That there, that there, that there, that there, there's an exclusion because of age, and the wonderful thing is because everyone at BIM just wants to study and play or create music. Um, everyone um, um, will will bring their, their own stories and experiences, um, and it's just a wonderful mix um, of ages and uh, cultures. Um, yeah, and it's just um, a fantastic life experience, uh, as well as uh, the start of, uh, of a musical journey. Thank you. The next question. Can I pay my tuition fees in installments? Do you offer placements? Yes, you can pay your fees in installments. So the first um, amount that you'll need to pay is your deposit amount. Um, so that's £4,000 um, or £1,000 if you have a bank loan, for example, or any other funding. So once you've paid your deposit, um, that will come off of your tuition fee balance. Then um, if you've met the scholarship deadline, we'll then automatically deduct the, the £2,000 off of your fees as well. So what you're left with in terms of your balance is around uh, the £10,000 mark. You can then either pay that upfront or our finance team, you can contact them and they will spread those payments for you, depending on your needs and how much you want to spread that. So yes, very flexible. And yes, we offer internships as well. Again, you, you can go to our dedicated um, specialists that will help um, either through Talent Match or BIM Connect or through your tutors, your personal tutors will help you as well with internships and placements. Thank you. The next question, can I apply although I am uh, still in my final year of my graduation degree in arts? Yes, please do. Please do apply um, at any time. Um, you can give us your, um, just give us details of what you're studying and we can issue a conditional offer um, if you're waiting for your grades. Um, or there is our alternative route. So in your personal statement that you write, if you've got a lot of experience already, um, there is our recognition of prior practice that you could go through that route as well. So, yes, we always just recommend apply as soon as you are interested in BIM and we can guide you on what we need from there. Thank you. The next question. Uh, do you have any accommodation discounts for early words? So we have a lot of different accommodation providers on our website and we have some accommodation guides for each city that we can share with you in the link. Um, they're different um, budgets depending on what your needs are. So some of them a bit more expensive if they're very central, some of them um, a bit, bit cheaper depending on the space that you get and the amenities. So there is something for everyone there, for everyone's um, what they can afford. Um, but don't forget, we do have a Facebook page as well for accommodation that current students are on. Um, I'm not sure if we can find the link for that for you. I'll have a look. But we have Facebook groups for each city, for all of our current students where they advertise spare rooms. And we do find that um, private houses that BIM students share can be a bit cheaper as well than formal halls of residence. So we'd recommend looking at the, joining the Facebook groups we also have an international student takeover that's coming up. I think, it, I believe it's on the 13th or 14th of April. 
which you can join that webinar. If you go to our events page on our website, you'll see links to our open days, virtual events and our student takeovers. The international student takeover is international students from different campuses, from different um, countries, and you can join them, um, speak to them, ask them loads of questions, and they will tell you a lot about uh, accommodation as well. Yeah, I've just put all of those in. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up, just putting them all in the uh, links there for, for, for people. Oh, brilliant. So yeah, Alan's kindly put the Facebook group for BIM London accommodation and our, uh, a link to our open days and virtual events as well. Please do sign up to those. You don't have to have applied. They're open to everyone. So please sign up for those sessions. It'll give you a, a broader understanding of BIM. Thank you. The next question. Uh, hi, could you give more insights on part-time jobs and maintaining college classes? Yeah, so obviously we want you to um, really prioritise your, your um, education. So we'd always, we'd always recommend that you put your um, course first, of course. Um, but you are allowed to work up to 20 hours a week if you're coming to the UK to 20 hours a week in term time and as many hours as you want during vacation time so we have regular breaks in terms um, of Christmas break Easter break and a, a long summer break as well so you can work as long as you want um, without restriction in those areas um, but the government guidance is 20 hours a week um, while you're studying but if you're working in the hospitality sector for example in a bar or a restaurant for 20 hours a week we do have a minimum wage in the UK which now I believe is around £9.50 per hour. So by law, your employer must pay you that as a minimum wage or more. So for example, if you get a job for £10 an hour, um, that means you'll be earning, and my maths isn't very good, but about around £200 um, a week. So £800 a month, that will easily pay for your accommodation, for example, or, or going out, um, you know, there's, there's quite a good chunk of income that you can earn part time. And then when you're in the holidays, you can work full time. So you can earn double that um, in a month, which is, a, you know, quite a good amount to live on really as a student. Thank you. Uh, the next question. Uh, I have no prior experience in the field and I am pursuing my degree in a completely different discipline. Can I still apply for this institution? Yes, for a master's programme. Yeah, yes, yeah, master's and bachelor's both. And maybe yeah, it is, it is for the master's only because the previous degree is not in the same discipline. Yes, that's absolutely fine. As long as you have a passion for, you know, the music industry, that maybe it's the entrepreneurship route, you want to go down the music business side, um, you can write that in your personal statement. And then um, the MA team will interview you and they'll make sure that the course is suitable for you for what your um, career aspirations are. So, yes, please apply and um, do the audition, speak to the academics um, and they will guide you and if the MA is the right course for you. Uh, I have covered all the questions from the chat box. Uh, many thanks for answering all the questions so well and sharing your knowledge, Lucy and Alan. We are now moving towards the end of this seminar. I would request if you have anything else you would like to put forward for the audience who are watching us live right now. Yes, thank you so much for joining us and we're really excited for you to come and join the BIM community. Um, if you'd like to reach out, um, SIUK staff have our contact details or you can find us on the website, um, but please do feel free to email us, um, but we really look forward to welcoming you hopefully in September uh, to, our, to our BIM colleges. Yeah. And yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Very nice to uh, to have the opportunity to uh, to speak to you all, all, all today, and uh, we very much very much hope to be able to look forward to meeting some of you in the future. Thank you so much, uh, Alan and Lucy, for your kind words. To all the audience, if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact SIUK India offices. We'll be more than happy to help you. So, in the end, thank you so much, everyone, for your valuable time today. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you.